All right, next up. War drums are pounding in Iran. I, an Iranian drone struck a U.S. military base and killed three troops. Now, here's where it gets a little spooky. It gets spooky um, because this drone snuck through the U.S. radar system through the base undetected. They thought it was our own. That's spooky for a couple reasons. Number one, that we couldn't pick that up. How many drones are flying over U.S. airwaves that we have no idea about and we think are our own? Number two, where the hell did Iran get the technology to mimic the U.S. drones? That's concerning. Is Iran more advanced than we thought they were? Well, they... they Predator drone killed three U.S. troops um, at a base last week, at a, a military base last week. And uh, first off, let's let's check this video out from jo- Joy Reid here. Go ahead, pull it up. This, this Over is just the weekend, funny. President Biden said he's ready to take action if Congress is serious about solving the border issue. This is right before Biden went to speak on the the the, law today. I'd shut down the the border right now and fix it quickly. And Congress needs to get it done. Starting another fucking war. (laughs) That was a hot mic. That was a hot mic. Starting another fucking war, she said. Um, She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Biden promised quick action. And Iran straight up said this will go nuclear if you try to piss us off. We have got a nuclear weapons program and we're going to kick it into gear. If you come after us, I'm telling you right now. Now, this is a tough spot for Biden here. It really is. Because you don't want to start World War III. You don't want to get Israel nuked. You don't want to get the U.S. invaded or, or anything like that, right? I don't think they'd invade the U.S., but they might hit us with a bomb. Terror, I mean, they, the, Iran's the number one sponsor of terror worldwide. We got a wide open southern border. You do the math there. But you don't want that. But at the same time, you can't let that go unchecked you have to do something there you have to i'm not saying you invade iran i'm not saying you nuke tehran or anything like that but you have to do something and that's what i see people when i when i see people like lindsey graham the senator from south carolina who's totally straight guys like 75 years old never been married never had a girlfriend never have kids but he's he's straight he's straight and he talks like this he said it was time to hit Tehran, to, 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 to bomb Tehran. That, that's not what you do. That's not what you do. We can't afford World War III. And that's why I think it's finally time we take these politicians. That, And this is a controversial opinion I have. But if, you'd, if you don't have children, if you don't have children, you cannot hold an office where you could be in the position to send somebody else's kids to go to war. It doesn't happen. And then, if you do have children or grandchildren that are of age, well, I would like to make it so people that would have grandchildren that would be 18 or older couldn't hold office. But if you have children and you vote yes on going to war and we go to war, guess whose kids go first? Yours. Doesn't matter if they're enlisted or not. They're automatically drafted into the service. They go first. And I know people go, Caleb, what about people who can't have kids? That's discriminatory. You can adopt, a number one. And number two, it's not perfect. There's no systems perfect. But I'm going to tell you right now, if a couple people that can't make kids have to get screwed out of being a senator or a congressman or woman or the president to make it so we can't let these bloodthirsty psychopaths who are just more than happy to send other people's kids off to get blown up for some dumbass cause of theirs, if, that, if that's what it takes to keep them out of office, then that's what it takes. You know, it really sucks that blind people can't be pilots. Sorry. It's not all fair. Life ain't fair. There's other things you can do. I'm not saying we give people fertility tests. Do you have kids or do you not? Maybe it was your choice. Maybe you couldn't and you chose not to adopt any. That's fine. That's your life. Live it the way you want. You can't be a senator. Sorry. No federal positions. No federal positions. And no federal positions if you stand to make any money off the United States going to war. Done. You don't get to hold that office. Bye-bye. Sorry. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this 
YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.